Good afternoon and welcome all as we gather at this 12 noon hour. I'm Father Wilhelm and you're joining me here at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. And during this last week, we've been praying the chaplet of St. Michael the Archangel. Tomorrow, I ask you to join with us as we have Mass at 12 noon and a special prayer of consecration that our uh, United States Catholic Conference of Bishops have asked us to do to reconsecrate the United States to our Blessed Mother as we begin the 1st of May, as it is May Day. It's the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, which is a solemnity for us here at St. Joseph's in Devil's Lake. But also we begin the month of May in honor of our dear Blessed Mother Mary. And so as we join tomorrow, please tune in for Mass. And Father Worth will be offering Mass and leading us in the prayers of exposition following Mass as we pray the beautiful prayers before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. And so I'd like to begin by praying this beautiful chaplet. And I'd ask that you join me to pray as we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we begin this beautiful chaplet, let's remember by the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of Seraphim. May the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect charity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord grant us the grace to leave the ways of sin and run in the path of Christian perfection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of thrones, may the Lord infuse into our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. By the intercession of St. Michael in the celestial choir of dominions, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and to overcome all unruly passions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Um, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of virtues, may the Lord preserve us from all evil and to falling into temptation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Join with me by the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of powers. May the Lord protect our souls against the snares and the temptations of the devil. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of principalities, May God fill our souls with a spirit of obedience. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael, and the celestial choir of archangels. May the Lord give us perseverance in faith and in all good works in order that we may attain the glory of heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lastly, good friends, pray with me. By the intercession of Saint Michael, and the celestial choir of angels, our guardian angels. May the Lord grant us to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted into the life to come of heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And I ask as we join with the Our Fathers, I bring us all the way to the tabernacle and we pray these four our fathers in honor 
of St. Michael, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and our guardian angel. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And now... I ask us to face towards an angel and we pray this last prayer in honor of the glorious Saint Michael. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king and our admirable conductor, who would shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your glorious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Pray for us, O glorious Saint Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Almighty and ever-living God, who by the progeny and the goodness of the merciful desire for the salvation of all men has appointed the most glorious archangel, St. Michael, Prince of your church. Make us worthy, we ask of you, to be delivered from all our enemies, that none of them may harass us at the hour of our death, but that we may be conducted by him into the presence of your holy presence. This we ask by the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good people, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining with me this beautiful prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. And as I promised, one of the things that I wanted to talk a little bit about is images. And in the Catholic Church, and as you saw yesterday on our video, that we got to see an image of St. Michael the Archangel in stained glass window. Two days ago, we went through and looked at every uh, picture that we have in our Church of St. Joseph. And oftentimes, people will say that we're breaking the commandment of the Lord with images, because they say, that we have images and you can't have images. Good people, this is not the truth. And I think it's important for us to really have an opportunity to look at what the Bible actually does say. The Ten Commandments are in the book of Deuteronomy, and there's two sets of commandments that are recorded in the book of Deuteronomy. And oftentimes people will accuse a Catholic or an Orthodox Christian that we are worshiping images, we might kiss a picture, we might kiss even a holy medal, and we're accused of worshiping these images and we're breaking the commandments, which is not true at all. The commandment says that we are not to worship images because pagans put gold together and they worship these images and they said these were their God. We know 
that images such as a statue of the Blessed Mother or a statue of St. Michael the Archangel or a crucifix, these are images, they are icons of the true image, which is Jesus Christ in heaven and in the Eucharist. We don't worship these images, and that's what the prescription of the law is, that we don't worship them. If we kneel in front of a statue, we're not worshiping the statue. We are thinking of the one who we are looking at. Can you imagine if we were not to have any images? That would mean that every picture that you have in your home, even an image that's up on a camera like this, would be breaking the commandment. And that's not what our good God gave to us in the Ten Commandments. And that's not what it says. It says that we're not supposed to worship an image. It doesn't say that we cannot make images of things and to see them. Now, that's what it says. We're not supposed to make an image of the birds in the sky to worship them. But isn't it interesting what our good God does and what he asks Moses? And you can find this in the book of Exodus, that where he was supposed to store the Ten Commandments, as our God wrote the commandments with his finger, he asked them to build a little box, which was called the Ark of the Covenant. And he said to make it by so many cubits. And on the top of this Ark of the Covenant, he was supposed to craft out of gold two angels with their wings up. And God said, in the midst of where those two wings meet, that was to be what? It was to be where his presence is. It's called the mercy seat. In the Ark of the Covenant, there's three things that were in the Ark of the Covenant. One was the tablets of the Ten Commandments, or the Ten Words of God. Second thing was the rod of Jesse, who was the cousin of Moses. And one of the things is that with that rod, Moses, what he did is he would put it in to the water, and blood came in the water to tell the Pharaoh that there's someone greater above, which is God. It was the staff or the stick, the walking stick, that turned into a snake in the book of Exodus as Moses always had to appear before the Pharaoh. The third thing that was in the Ark of the Covenant was the bread that fell from heaven, manna from heaven. And those three things were placed into the Ark of the Covenant. And what happened is that they were supposed to continue to have God's presence walk with them, and they took the Ark of the Covenant with them. Well, Jesus is the new Ark of the Covenant, and that's why we have our tabernacles in our church, because he gave us his, the Eucharist, and he said, do this. And in the beautiful tabernacle, we have the most blessed sacrament, the true manna from heaven, which is Jesus himself, the one who gave the words, the commands, God himself with us who continually guides us as the Good Shepherd. I'd like to show you before I conclude, and I thank you for staying with me so long and hearing this little teaching, but what I'd like you to do is to look at our tabernacle. And as you see our tabernacle close up, one of the things you see are two angels. And on them it says, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. It means holy, 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 holy. And these angels have their wings facing down, which mean that they're in adoration of God. They're symbolic. But in the tabernacle is Jesus Christ. We love you, Jesus, and open our hearts and our souls that we can become the men and women you have called us to be. Help us to be holy. Help us to become saints. We love you. Every time we come into a Catholic church, we're asked to make a genuflection. And that's where we go down on the right knee to give adoration to Jesus. And isn't it something, you know, I never knew that as I was an 11th grader and I received confirmation. And my confirmation sponsor, God bless him, his name was Urban Wary. He was a farmer, good holy man. And one of the things is that we got to meet with our confirmation sponsors. And he talked about how much he loved Jesus 
and that every time we come into a church, we make a genuflection. It's the first time that I really thought of it, that Jesus is present in the Blessed Sacrament. And so I ask us to conclude here with saying, Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, have mercy on us three times. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, have mercy on us. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, have mercy on us. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to thank you all for joining with us today as we prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I have a wonderful surprise for all of you is that on Friday at 1 o'clock, we'll begin our perpetual adoration again here at church. At 1 o'clock, I'll have the church open for prayer for people to come in before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. We have some of the pews blocked off and to make sure that people use certain pews to sit in so we can clean better and to make sure that we are being responsible to continue to do our part to not spread the uh, coronavirus or any viruses. And so um, we're going to have some instruction for you. So tomorrow at one o'clock, the church will continue to be open. It'll be open on Monday to Friday, and it's going to be open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., just as we used to have it. So please come and take time to pray and come and thank God for your health and for your strength. God bless you all, and I, will, I look forward to the day that we can start having Mass again in church, and we're receiving instruction from our bishop, and so we wait on him. And so God's blessings to you, and I hope to see you face to face very soon. God bless you, and Jesus, we love you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a wonderful Thursday, and thank you for joining me today.